Hello and welcome back to Casey's Cartoon Workshop Tutorial 8. Um, today we're going to draw a gorilla. Usual ingredients, blue pencil, red pencil, graphite pencil. Um, yeah, we're going to start with what we always start with, uh, a piece of paper, our pencils, uh, and with a grid. So let's start by marking the area that we're going to draw within. So we're going to start with our top line and our base line. And then let's run a nice vertical line down the center to actually balance us on this piece of paper. We're drawing this character full on. We're now going to split this area into three sections. This character is going to be three heads high. We always measure characters and animation uh, in heads, uh, the old Disney way. Uh, so three heads high. In the top section here, let's draw an oval. Let's start with an oval. Let's get really loose on this. Fill the pencil, fill the shape. A lovely oval. Yeah. Um, also this top section here, let's split this into thirds again. So that top section is going to be three sections. We're going to come down to the second section and mark a halfway marker. All relevant to the proportion of our character. So from this first marker in the first section to this marker in the second section, this is going to be the the actual sort of shoulders. We're going to draw another oval, which are going to be the shoulders and the chest of this gorilla. He's going to be a really burly guy, um, really sort of barrel chested, very, very thick set. And um, he's looking straight at us. When he comes to this um, next part, we're going to draw his lower torso in here. I'm just going to come down a little bit lower than that line, that third section here line. And I'm going to draw another oval on its side that's going to sort of denote the abdomen, the, the lower ad abdomen, the um, stomach of the character. And let's just join the chest to the lower body to sort of make it make a little bit more sense. The bottom section here will split in half. Again, it's all about drawing with uh, it's, it's symmetry. It's drawing with tangents. It's drawing with geometry. Um, we're going to have the first leg that's going to spur off of the lower part of the body. That's going to be the kneecap that's going to sit on top of this line we're going to have the, uh, the the leg is going to be bent the foot is going to be crooked uh, and also sort of bent and shaped on this bottom line so the character is actually walking towards us we're now sort of defining some shapes here I'm going to throw that bottom line across flat so the other leg is going to come down once again the kneecap is going to be sitting on that sort of at the top of that line but what I'm going to do I'm actually going to lower this baseline because I want this character to actually be walking towards us so I'm sort of cheating here because I'm now going to lower this line down I'm going to accentuate this foot a little further and have him standing on that lower bottom line. So you can see that there's some perspective here. He's sort of walking off a step, but if I throw some perspective, in, um, not some perspective, if I throw some drop shadow in here, there's a drop shadow. We can see that the guy has got some density, he's got some weight, he's got some volume about him. Coming up to the shoulders here, 
these are going to be where the arms obviously join the top part of the torso and the arms are obviously going to spur from the shoulders they're going to be an ape has got very very long arms that come down to his knees possibly a little bit lower for the moment uh, round about where his knees are we're just going to put a couple of circles here just to denote where the hands are going to go uh, because we're going to start working some other detail up we're going to go we're drawing all over the place here at the moment we're designing a character if I work this line along I can see where the the other hand is going to be roughly this guy is sort of symmetrically proportioned and there we go so lovely arcing process just enjoy your pencil and relax with the pencil right so what I'm going to do now I'm going to use the red pencil to start putting in some more finite detail now so what we're going to do we're going to start with this marker here which is the first third and the bottom part of this section to the chest line I'm going to mark another halfway marker because now what we're going to draw we're going to draw the snout of this guy this guy is a gorilla so it's now going to accentuate how his head is so hunched within his shoulders see how we're having fun with these shapes it's designing characters is all about just experimenting with shapes and volume and you know geometry here we're going to put like a, a, a sort of a chevron this is where his eyes are going to actually be um, which will start giving you an idea now of where we're going with this character uh, his eyes he's going to be looking straight at us um, here is going to be the top of his nose you can actually see where we're going now uh, this is going to be his nose I'm going to flare the nostrils out here um, and then we're going to have where roughly the mouth is going to be and we're going to have a lot of relief we're going to have a lot of breaking out of these shapes with furrowing the eyebrows up here we're just going to break outside the shapes that we've made we're going to just accentuate the top of his head a little bit to make it a little bit more ape like there you go and then let's put a there's a bottom lip there there's a double chin and we're going to work our way down from this furrow and just give him a little bit of a jawline here coming down just to above the mouth and we'll put a, another furrow here just as I say just to accentuate the expression of this guy here's the other part of the snout here's the other part of the the jawline and then from there we'll add the ears so we're getting a general a, a, a general appearance of the way this character is actually developing now and we can see now why we've drawn all these shapes because they're all they're all going together and they're actually making a character so where the chest line is here we're going to put some dungarees on him I'm um, we'll dress him up as his chest line so just coming up under this chin uh, I'm going to draw a line parallel to his chest line just keep nice and free and easy and loose with your pencil there's, that's going to be the top of the dungarees that are actually folding beneath his chin 
Um, let's uh, start throwing the straps for the dungarees off of his shoulders. A couple of lovely big buttons here and once again same the other side. You can dress your gorilla up whatever way you want. I mean we're just using a you know a basic guide here. We're, we're designing a character that we can change at whatever point we want. Let's tuck the fabric over at the top here to just create some interesting shapes here and here. And in the course of this process, we're going to sort of start. We're going to start throwing some shadows in to just give a little bit of a an idea of how much dimension there is in this character. Here's the creases in his dungarees. We're going to now throw this flat line in here where the lower part of his body is. Start creating some texture in the fabric and the general being of this guy. Um, let's Put some turnips on the dungarees. Once again, lots of folds and creases and shadows and just have a load of fun. Just make the pencil do all the work. There you go. Um, coming down, we, we know these are the shoulders. Lovely sweeping movements all the way to arc. What we're going to have, we're going to, you know, for simplicity, we're going to just have his hands folded as fists. So there's one thumb here. Uh, you, we know the thumb, there you go, thumb's bent, it's spurs off to the first knuckle here along with the second knuckle along with the third knuckle so it's a basic simple fist that yeah, for ease of you know posing the character let's not make things too difficult um, we'd have to do all this kind of stuff in development with making the hands more expressionate but this is a tutorial and it's just basically showing you how to design a character from top to bottom. We'll go into the development stages with hands and feet at a later point. So there's the uh, the other hand that's in the shape of a fist and coming down here at the bottom Let's put the shape of the foot in here, and I, I always love putting that first toe over the line. I'm going to put that first toe over the line too. There you go, a little bit of texture there, and second and third toe that's strapped on that baseline, and the same again here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go into the graphite pencil and start to clean this character up and start to get a little bit more definition. So I'm going to start with these very, very furrowed eyebrows and working out to these very very severe eyes this guy's a gorilla he means business he has to be a gorilla all day long so he's got to look severe
And there you have it, Gorilla. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned. There's uh, quite a few more tutorials coming now. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.